welcome back to the YouTube channel of Pro Enzo Viz, and this is my round nine tips of the NRL for 2022. Um, look, I think this is number, going to be another good round of footy. We're already nine rounds uh, in for the 2022 season. It feels like, you know, round one was, wasn't that long ago. It just feels so quick now because there's only a magic round next week, and which is very, pretty hard to believe. But yeah, we're there. We're there in round nine. And um, look, it's going to be a good round of football, I think. You know, look at some of the games this week, like Thursday night, Bronco Souths. Um, at a core stadium, Reynolds against his old cup, the, the Reynolds Cup, basically, Broncos and South. So that'd be a really good game, actually. Then on Friday, you got uh, Battle of the West, um, Para versus Penrith at uh, Bluebet Stadium. So that's going to be another good game as well. So, um, no, look, there's a couple of right games that can go either way, you know. It's going to be a very good round of football, I hope. So, um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. But in case you haven't already, just want to say, uh, if you're new to the channel right now watching, I would um, hope you can subscribe to the channel. Currently at 1,840 subscribers. So, I think I'm on the brink of hitting 1,850 subs. So if I can get there maybe by end of today, end of or later tomorrow, uh, possibly, you know, that would be uh, greatly appreciated and uh, would um, help the channel a lot if I can uh, get to that uh, mark very soon. So um, yeah, and I do appreciate all the recent support as of um, yeah last week and and also as of late. So uh, thank you to those that are new subscribers and new support. It means a lot to me in the channel. But um, yeah, this is my round nine tips. Got. Uh, four out of eight last week. Really need to get, pick, pick up my game and get better next week. I, this week, I think. All right. So this is uh, my tip for the Broncos and Rabbitohs game. So now on to the first game of uh, round nine. Obviously, like I said, Seahawks and the Broncos at a core stadium at uh, seven fifty p.m. Uh, Thursday night. So it should be a good one. Uh, the Reynolds Cup, and um, this is going to be a very interesting clash with uh, Reynolds and his uh, old teammates. So um. Going through South's team first, the home side. So Liam Knight returns to the bench for the Souths while David Mawali goes to reserves and drops out. Uh, Shaquai Mitchell also drops out. Uh, and Isaiah Tass keeps his spot in the centres when, um, while uh, Tane Mill is ser still serving suspension. Uh, as of Brisbane, uh, Payne Haas is the big out for the Broncos this week. So as we know, he adds a lot to that side. So I guess losing him for an extended period or for however long he's out with the shoulder injury is going to hurt them. So he's out. And... Um, it looks like starting in his role is uh, Patrick Carrigan. So he starts a prop with uh, Corey Jensen. And um, yeah, Turpin is in reserves. And um, that seems to be the only changes, actually. Uh, Kirk Cable was set to miss um, the game as well with an injury. So that's uh, all the changes there for Seahawks and Brisbane. Uh, my tip for this game. <sighs> Look, my tip for this game is a tough one, but... Might call me crazy, um, actually, but I'm going to tip the Broncos to win here, uh, purely because I think that Reynolds will want to try and um, get one over Seahawks, if you know what I mean. Not in a bad way, but just try to, you know, just sort of give it to Seahawks and how he sort of left and however, and they didn't agree to what he said, but I'm not going to get involved in all that. Um, but yeah, no, again, like, I think he'll just be the, the main reason why Brisbane might win on uh, Thursday. So I'm going to tip Brisbane by six, and uh, any time try scorer, Cobo and um, I reckon Cobo and Walker, anytime try scorer. So Brisbane by six and tipping on Thursday. On to Friday now. It is the Raiders and the Bulldogs at GIO Stadium in Canberra. Um, very interesting game for both sides. Both sides in terrible form, obviously, at the bottom of the ladder. So whoever loses, I believe, will um, go to 16th place. But whoever, whoever wins goes as high as 12, apparently. So this will be a very interesting game. But looking at Raiders' uh, team, first of all, um, the big news is that Jared Kroger is actually back for the Raiders. So Kroger's back in the centres. Um, so that's good to see him there. Uh, he replaces Semi Valame in the centres. Uh, Nick Clock stands back at fullback. Rapana moves to the wing. Um, Xavier Savage moves to reserves. Jack White accepted too much ban and obviously he's out. So he gets replaced by uh, Sam Williams. Brad Schneider keeps his spot at halfback. And Whitehead is back. And um, Adam Elliott stays a hooker, which is very interesting actually. And uh, Sebastian Chris joins the bench for the Raiders too. As a Bulldogs, Jackson and Naden both back from COVID, so that means Ockenbord drops in in favour of uh, Naden. And uh, and uh, yeah, Tisic Rikas is out because of uh, suspension. That means Jackson goes to lock and uh, Max King goes back to the bench. Um, my tip for this game, it's a very hard one to call because I can see both teams winning this um, personally, but. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to tip the Raiders to win here. I think Canberra will be just a bit too good. I know that the Dogs got a good, good win over the Roosters, um, you know, last week. But I think they can, um, I don't know if they can back up the same form, you know what I mean? I think they I think they can, but 
I think Canberra will be very desperate. You'd think Ricky will be very desperate for the Raiders to get a win here. So I'm going to sit Canberra by probably four. And anytime try scorers, I'm going to go Nick Clockstad for a double. I think you have a big game at fullback. And I believe for the Bulldogs, uh, Brent Nathan scoring his time as well. On to the main game on the Friday now. It is the Battle of the West. It is the Panthers versus the Parramatta Eels at Blue Bet Stadium in Penrith. Going to be a very good game, I think. This is definitely one of the games of the round, and it could be actually the game of the round as well. So I'm looking looking forward to it. Very um, highly anticipated match, as it should be. Um, Going to love some derbies, Battle of the West uh, going on. So, uh, yeah, on Friday, some 55 p.m., going through the Panthers team. The Panthers have no changes, so Ivan Cleary has got the exact same side, but Brian Ty and Rosalie Ota are in the reserve, so I'm guessing they are going to be considered maybe to play this game or will be back very soon for the Panthers Panthers. As for Parramatta, uh, Opacek's back with a neck injury, so he comes back into the uh, Eels team. And uh, Dylan Brown moves back to 5'8", uh, and Jacob Arthur to reserves, while Sean Russell uh, is back in the extended squad, so that means the reserves. So he comes in for... Um, uh, he doesn't come in for anybody, but what I meant to say is he's in the extended bench. So, yeah, that's good to see. Um, my tip for this game... Yeah, look, I think Penrith will be a bit too good. The way Penrith are going, I can't see losing anytime soon. Um, so I think they'll be, be a bit too good for Parramatta. And I'm going to say Pan Panthers by about 10 points. I think they'll be way too good for Parramatta. So um, anytime try scorers, uh, May. And um, I reckon uh, Nathan Brown. Nathan Brown for Parramatta. All right, on to Super Sunday. It is uh, Manly, my team, up against the West Tigers at Four Pines Park at uh, Manly. So, it's going to be a very good game, I think. The way the Tigers are going, they can definitely challenge Manly while Manly get a couple of big names back, like Turbo's back this week, uh, Ola Kawatu, Aloye. So, that's going to help our side a lot, actually, especially with the amount of players we lost during the week with um, Parker, Saab, and Morton. Um, but, yeah, it should be a good game. But going through the teams now, so Manly have obviously got Joy, Aloye, and... Um, Olukawatu all back, so that means um, that means yeah, you know, moving, moving to the bench would be Ethan Bullimore goes to the bench uh, for Olukawatu. Saab's out because of a foot injury, so that means Christian Tupelo keeps his spot on the wing. While Tom's back at fullback, so that means Garrett goes to the wing as well. And Parker's out, Parker's out for the rest of the year with an ACL injury, which really does suck. So that means Ben Trevojevic will partner Tolo Tolo Tau in the centres, which I'm looking for look, looking for the seeing. And um, yeah, that's the only changes for Manly. As for the Tigers, Leilua is out with an ankle injury, Luciano Leilua. So Alex Saifar replaces him in the back row. Jake Simkin uh, returns a hooker while Little goes to the 18th man role. And uh, Yutuka Mano returns uh, this week, which is the beginning for the Tigers, actually, from a knee injury off the bench. And Tyrone Peach is back on the bench as well with um, Madden dropping out. For this game, look, it's going to be a very tough game, I think. I think Mealy cannot underestimate what the Tigers have been doing the past couple of weeks, especially the way they've been defending and playing. Uh, Mealy and they watch themselves not get too complacent. But um, look, in saying that, I think Mealy will be a bit too good. I think at home, I think with Tom being back, Ola Kawatu and Aloye, and our squad looks a bit more stronger now, and I think we'll um, definitely see the best of uh, the boys this week. So I think Mealy's win by about 14 points, and my anytime try scores are Tom, as always. And for the Tigers, I reckon... Um, that's okay, Power, who's coming in for enough loom in the wing this week. Now, on to the very next game on Super Saturday. It is the Sydney Roosters up against the Gold Coast Titans at BD Prince Stadium in Mackay. So, uh, I think the reason why they're playing up in Mackay is because I think the Roosters took their most of their home games there last year, actually, when, when the comp had to move up to Queensland. So, I believe um, that's why they're probably going to be playing um, at uh, BD Prince Stadium in Mackay. Um, because it was actually known as a home ground for them when they're up in Queensland. And I think they must have enjoyed it there as well. So, yeah, it is the home game as well, so that makes sense in in the end. Uh, but look, look at both sides now. Roosters have Daniel Tupo and Momorowski both back in the side. Uh, the Guam goes to reserves, and Adam Kieran drops out as well um, due to injuries. Actually, both of them have, and Billy Smith is also nearing a comeback apparently. As for the Titans, well, Dave Fafita is out for a month with an MCL injury, so that's going to hurt Gold Coast a lot. Uh, Sam McIntyre is back in the team as well, which is good to see. And uh, Kevin Proctor starts in the back row with both Fermor and Philip Sammy, Jamal Sarko, Jane Campbell remain chances of playing and they're all known in reserves, so they could be a chance of playing. Uh, look, my tip this game, I'm going to tip Roosters to bounce back. Surely they bounce back. They can't lose to three average sides in, in, the, in, a, in a row now. Uh, if they do, there's something wrong there. So I think Roosters will bounce back this week. I think Robbo will get them fired up and they should win by about 16, I reckon, and my anytime trial scores are Tupo in his return and Brian Kelly for the Gold Coast Titans. 
And now rounding up Super Saturday, it is the Cowboys and the Knights at Queensland Country Bank Stadium up there in Townsville. So again, you know, this is a very interesting game, especially for how Knights are, uh, considering they've lost you now six games in a row. So how's the mentality going? I'm not sure, but they definitely need to bounce back. As for the Cowboys, though, they're going really well, uh, sitting third currently on the ladder. So definitely deserve it, definitely deserve the credit they're getting because they're playing some really good football. So I uh, expect them to be the exact same this Saturday, but I'm um, looking at their team now. Um, unchanged lineup, no change to their team. Hamiso still um, carries the Jersey 14 role off the bench. Uh, Ruby Cotter and Tom Gilbert have earned their starts against the Eels. And um, yeah, that's the only changes there. As for Knights, there's actually a couple of changes. Uh, Tex Hoy and uh, Phoenix Crossland are the new halves for the Knights. And that, that means uh, Clifford and uh, Clune have both been. Uh, Oh no, Cliff has been dropped, I, I believe, but Clune has a knee injury, so he's replaced by Crossland halfback. Uh, Lock Fitzgibbon and Dom Young have both been named to return from knee injuries, uh, replacing Simi Sasagi and Brody Jones in the 17, while Kurt Cable with an ankle remains on the sideline, so he's not back yet. And Leo Thompson, the rookie uh, forward, is going to start Lock. And on the bench, Matt Croak and Sammy Sawala join the bench as well for Knights. In this game, I believe the Cowboys will be a bit too good at home. I think as of now, their forms are really good, and I think they'll be a bit too good for the Knights and a bit too strong as in the end. So I'm going to tip Cowboys by about 18 points. I think 18 points sounds reasonable for me. And uh, any time try scorers, I reckon Holmes will get a double, and I think for Newcastle, uh, Pong is going to score a try. Moving on to Sunday footy now. It is the first game of two. It is the Storm and the Dragons at Aiden Park in Melbourne. So a very... Uh, a very interesting game because Melbourne obviously have come off two very big wins and as for the Dragons, they've won three games in a row with uh, very good momentum at the moment. So it's going to be a very um, interesting match, I think. I think this could be closer than what we expect. Um, but yeah, no, it should be good. It should be good. Um, looking at the Storm team and the Dragons sides now, um, starting with Melbourne first, Tepo Morrow is out with a shoulder injury for, a shoulder injury for six weeks. That means Jordan Grant comes in the 17, while Dean Aramir has been included in reserves after overcoming a hamstring injury. Uh, no other changes for um, the Storm. As for the Dragons, Jack Bird's back with a knee, back from a knee injury, so he replaces uh, Tala Tauamon at 5-8 with a moment dropping to the bench. And uh, Jane Salva moves to 18th man, um, getting moved from the bench role. Uh, my tip for this game, look, Melbourne should be too good, but I don't think Melbourne are going to smash Dragons like they have done to the Warriors and Knights already. I think this will be a much closer game, like I said, so... Um, Storm to win by about probably 16 points, and I think uh, any time try scorers for me will be Coates, and I reckon Coates and a um, bit of an uh, interesting one, but I reckon uh, Jack Burns return will score a try. And now the last game for round nine of the NRL, it is the Sharks and the Warriors at um, Points Bet Stadium up there in Cronulla. So um, yeah, looking at how both teams line up. The Sharks have Fanukin back at lock. Uh, McInnes is to the bench, and then Brandon Trindle is the 18th man. While Tolman is listed, but to start and swapped with, uh, and did swap with Royce Hunt last week, so he may go to the bench again. Um, Tolman, um, Wade Graham will come off the bench for his second appearance, and Matt Moy, Matt, Matt Ikevalu and Connor Tracy are back fit again, so they are among the reserves. As for the Warriors, well. The good news is that DWZ, Dan Latanis Lesniak, is back from a concussion injury that he got very seriously got against the Storm, so it's good to see him back. Uh, he replaces uh, Jesse Arthurs in the team with a shoulder injury, and Rocco Berry, Viliami Valia keep their spots in the centres, while Bailey Siren moves to the 18th man role and is replaced by Elisa, Elisa Katoa in the back row, and Aaron Penne returns to the bench after one game suspension. My tip for this game, I expect the Sharks to be a bit too good for the Warriors at home. I think Sharks are in a bit more better form. I know they had a bad loss to the Broncos last Thursday, but I expect them to bounce back this week at home, and I think they'll be a bit too good for the Warriors. So I'll tip the Sharks by about 10 points. And my anytime try scorer for both sides, I'm going to go West Tennis Leslie. I think he's return for the Warriors. And for the Sharks, I reckon off the bench, this guy will score. I reckon uh, Cameron McInnes will score and try off the bench for the Sharks. But everyone... That's my round of nine tips of the NRL for 2022. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the very next video.